my, we're excited to spend some oh. The travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm. Smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? So, what can I do for you two? Sometimes the best purchase is the one we don't make. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow! What are we gonna do? <laughs> Don't tell me! Does Odin want? Don't know. Don't care. Come here. You're done. Shut up! Don't call me that. Can't believe you've lasted this long. Those skinny little lords can barely lift the plate. I say, shut up! Calm yourself, boy. Looks like they need another lesson. Yeah! 
sickness. Fever has returned. No! It hasn't. Boy! The coffin, the blood. The boy's sick, he needs flair. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father's Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment? No. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom.
before. But which way back? Lovely to see you too, Sindri. Nob. Why? Is that a piece of my braided mistletoe arrow adorning your quiver strap? Oh, a little memento of your good pal, Sindri. I'm so terribly touched. Hey, did you hear? Magni, the Aesir god, son of Thor, dead! I know! Now Modi's on a rampage across Midgard, looking for the killer, swearing that once he finds him, he'll... Oh, shit, that was you guys. We should probably discuss that more quietly. Or not at all. I think that's a great plan. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madhurin Sem Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, Sindri. Don't touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but... Uh, mostly they just try to kill you. Good tip. Doing too well. I'm fine. <coughs> if so, then keep up. Come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Atreus, to me. Look, back near the giant's head. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across.
There is an opening. I can get it. There's a path to the exit on the other side. I think that did it. 